Hey, it's Joseph here. Today we are looking at this product over here, Keyboard Pro with NumPad. It is from no other company, the 3D Connexium. And this is a company that is well known for their 3D mouse or space mouse is what they call it. And this is how I carry this around. And this is a device that I use to navigate inside of my 3D model, especially for presentation purposes. It's been quite useful. One of the neat way that I charge this device is to use a magnetic charger like this. So it has a little tip that is connected already to the device and then just come close to it and then it'll start charging as well. So you can see the LED lights are coming on to let you know that it is being charged. But other than that, it maintains the overall charge quite well. So I kind of have it disconnected or I also have another device. Let's just have it in frame like that. And this is also another device that I have showcased on the channel before. So I'll leave a link in the description for both of the devices video. But this is the CAD Mouse Pro Wireless to be specific. And it is a mouse that is meant for CAD professionals. And you can see that it has three different buttons. So there is a middle button that you can click on. So it has its unique feature along with a smart button that you can press to trigger different type of functions. So they are well known for making peripherals that are meant for CAD professionals or professionals who's looking to do 3D modeling, rendering that sort of thing, the things that I do. So I'm glad that they are able to feature this product here today. And actually I wanted to mention that today's video is sponsored by Motion Media. Motion Media is the one-stop shop for AC hardware and software. They currently have Autodesk product promotion where you can get 10% off of Revit or the AEC collection for both annual or three-year licenses. Their sale is limited to US only, so if you're in the country and interested in getting discount along with other related hardware and software, then don't forget to use code JKIM or JKIM the link is in the description along with the code. So yeah, let's check out the packaging a little bit. So on the front, you can see the picture of what we are expecting to see inside. So depending on the region that you go for, you may have slightly different looking keyboard, which is kind of typical. There is like a British English or international version versus American English. So they have different type of layouts. And on the back over here, let's go down a couple of things that are written on the box. So it is designed for your comfort, a narrow keyboard design with detached numpad enables symmetrical position of your hands and forearms to provide a natural and comfortable posture. Keys that adapt to the app you are using. Personalize 12 dedicated function keys with application specific commands of the most popular CAD programs. Programmable wireless numpad, a wireless numpad with extended programmability conveniently integrates into your optimized workflow and the encrypted wireless connection keeps it secure and it is going to be connected via 2.4 gigahertz connection or also bluetooth and precise and effortless typing experience the keycaps are ergonomically shaped and matte coated for comfort and precision the scissor technology gives stability low friction for perfect responsiveness and advanced wrist support enjoy fatigue free free productivity with a full-size palm rest to support your wrists and fold-out feet to create the perfect typing angle. Actually up here includes the actual keyboard, the numpad, and the USB cable. I'm assuming it is USB-C. We'll see about that. Okay, just pull this out and then I guess this is how we're gonna open it. I hope you can see the either devices. It could open. And as we opened up, here is the quick start guide. You connect your thing, turn it on, and then download the drivers. Pretty straightforward stuff. And along with that, I wanted to give you some disclaimers as well. I was provided with this unit from the 3D Connection to do showcase and introduction video such as this. And also the fact that this is the first keyboard product from 3D Connection. And I have noticed a couple of things that this may be missing out based on my research. So I will be pointing out a couple of those things as I go. However, I'm sure they'll make improvements based on the feedback later on, just like how they did for all of these other type of devices 
devices. So I'll try to cover all the features and the things that I notice as I go along. And let's get on with the actual unwrapping of all of these devices. Let's lift this up. I'm assuming that this is a main keyboard. And also the cable is over here. And then also another set of cable. And then also the numpads, I assume. And then here we have the keyboard itself as well as the numpad. So first of all, it is immediately apparent that we need to use this cable to connect to the computer. So let's unwrap this cable tie. So here is a cable. I can connect this to my computer and it is fairly long. I would say about 10 feet or so. So let's just have it routed around so that I can connect to my computer. But let's just kind of have a look at the overall aesthetics and the features around the keyboard. And starting from the top, it is apparent that there are macro keys groups of four. So one here, another one, and another one, and then one's above the numpad. And then just basic keyboard layout here. It actually looks and feels quite nice too. Very soft and then it has a little bit of curvature on the keys and kind of caved in for regular keys and spacebar and the bottom row along with the top row are kind of caved up or kind of bumped up so that you can kind of feel out the differences which is very nice. Arrow keys are nicely positioned. I'm not sure if this is the right move for these keys, the page up and down and delete home. This is not a standard layout. This is more squeezed layout. So I would have appreciated if this was a three row, the regular configuration. And to be a bit more critical about spacing, I would have liked to see a bit less trim all around and then basically have this increase to three row when the numpads are here about that distance. I would have liked to see the overall trim slightly thinner so that you can either put the numpad slightly closer to the keyboard as well as having another row here instead of having squeezed down like that. And yeah, there is a nice wrist rest so it keeps your hand level with the keyboard. That's a nice thing. And I believe there are feet that are available so that you can adjust the angle if you would like to. And that same feet is available on numpads as well. And then you can just have the numpads and the keyboard elevated like so, so that you can have it elevated all like this. However, I don't use that sort of thing. So here, all flat. Perhaps it would have been better if the wrist rests are detachable, then you can either have people have their own wrist rests or decide no wrist rests at all. And giving them options like that is great rather than a complete hard surface like this. But the overall keyboard feels very good. It is a low profile. It's not mechanical in any ways. I would not have any problem typing on this. And also having all the keys on expected places is very important because you want to make sure you're hitting all of those short keys as the CAD user who's doing a lot of shortcuts. So using your mouse and then typing a couple of shortcuts like that is quite important. And that is the important feature for CAD advertised device. And with the numpad, I suppose you have a USB-C here on one end and the other end is USB type A, which I can connect to my computer. I have plenty of those, so I'm not gonna need to use that. But you also have a switch. You can turn that on and the green light turns on over here and also connect this wire finally. So here is a website that talks about this keyboard and on the top you can see that the keyboard is here and there is a unique configuration where you can have the numpad on the left. So you can continue using your mouse with your right hand, then perhaps have the numpad on your left hand. So that is somewhat unique, but if you're the type of person who use the numpad a lot, moving your hand away from the mouse and to the numpad could be a, a lot of repeat where your left hand is not doing much. So you can do something like this where you are using numpad on the left. But I have seen some accountant or type of 
user using a lot of number inputs needing that sort of workflow. And another way to do this is to just kind of stagger this like this. Perhaps it doesn't look the prettiest, but actually it is kind of ergonomic because you don't have to spread your arms out like that. You can kind of go turn around, use a mouse, numpads, and then keyboard, and also the space mouse. So you kind of go in the circular motion is something that is ideal in terms of working. Having them all straight like this is not the most ergonomic way to work. So that is possible. So I just kind of demonstrate that. And as we go further down, you can see the pricing is currently listed as 130. And this is a very particular feature where you can dedicate these keys as the macro functions so that you can see and then press those buttons depending on what you are working on. So SolidWorks, Creo, and then Autodesk products along with the Office products, you can set up the macro keys so that you can use them as a shortcuts. <laughs> Again, they're kind of talking about different type of postures or implementation you can do. And then a programmable wireless numpad, I kind of mentioned about it. And the connectivity methods, and also having the space mouse together. And over here, I can see that there is a way to download the driver. And then here, I can see Windows, Mac, and even Linux. And you can use it for Mac, apparently. But in my case, it will be Windows 10. So I'm going to download the 64-bit version. Once that happens, you can go through the installation process. So as soon as I have installed the device, I noticed that something showed up at the very bottom of the screen. And you can see that I can press number five, which is this one over here, to bring up the Microsoft Word. And then as it launches, I can start a blank document. And then those are actually gonna be available. So as I type stuff, I can highlight all of it and then press perhaps the second one and then make it bold or italic depending on what the default of setup is and then those will be highlighted. If you were to go on to the properties panel of 3D Connection, you can see that all the devices that I'm using and shown here as connected and for the keyboard itself or even the numpad is already showing up. I just turned it on. I didn't need to pair it up. It's already paired up with a keyboard. The buttons will highlight what sort of software it is being dedicated to and what other keys that you can dedicate depending on what you want to use for that scenario. So here I have the SketchUp. Here you can see it is sort of blank. So I can set it up as a move key M or rotate will be Q. So if I have that set up, then I can verify that I can hit the first macro key to activate move tool or Q. So here you can choose different type of features, quick zoom, and launch different type of application. You can do the search there, or as a keyboard, short keys, you can press all of these modifier keys. So the sky is a limit as far as the macro goes. And then you can also launch the radial menu that is available with your mouse as well. So you can choose to launch that radial menu that's available and you can customize a lot of different things this way. So in conjunction with the numpads here. When we go here, I can see that I can choose the buttons. And then again, you are able to choose some of these functions. So escape key, arrow keys, and then the tab key. And as far as the Revit goes, I can just snap this screen over here and then have the Enscape shown on the right. And you can see that at the bottom of the screen of the Revit, you'll see all the macro keys functions and you can use those to use it as a shortcut. And you can actually float this around in different places depending on where you want them to be. And then over here, we're looking at that car over here and we can just simply move that. And then you see the car is just moving onto the other side. So lending all of that short keys with this keyboard that's nicely laid out is not a problem at all and everything feels comfortable. This is sort of second nature. Although this keyboard is quite new to me, I have no problem navigating through and then using this keyboard as my main keyboard. So let's go in here, look at it in this view, and then I'm gonna use my 3D mouse so that I can have a smooth motion 
and up and down and even fly through over here so that I can follow up the stairs nicely. And then as I go up, I can pan around or even jump over and then swoop down. So all of that 3D mouse function is there and then I can pair it up with the first level view over here. I believe we're in that space here. And then if I were to move some of the furniture closer, use the short keys and then perhaps move it over here. So you can start to lay things out for your client this way using more shortcuts on the Revit. And you can see that how all the changes that I make inside of Revit applies over here. And just to demonstrate using the numpad, a lot of times when we are moving these things in array or so, then we need to type in numbers. So 240 enter so that we have, actually let me spin around so I can actually see what is going on. So there, so I want to be able to type in certain type of dimensions for the sake of using numpad. I can actually use here and then perhaps type in 250 enter and then select both of them. CO and then array it this way as well. 250 enter. So being able to use numpads so that I can type in accurate dimensions so that everything is nicely laid out is quite crucial for all of these modeling purposes making sure that things are done correctly. So all of the accurate measurement becomes second nature for any sort of CAD or modeling software user. So NumPad is quite important. I'm an avid user. And I also know the fact that all of the other devices no longer need the dongle. It can actually connect to the keyboard itself. So the keyboard itself becomes a dongle for all of other devices. So you can just kind of reduce all the dongles that are being connected to your device. And the NumPad was already connected to the keyboard. So I didn't even we need to pair this up separately. So as far as the battery goes, you can see the technical specification says the battery is supposed to last up to six months. And that is quite a lot for the numpad. Obviously the keyboard doesn't need battery since it is wired, but that is a long battery life you can expect. Perhaps the later iteration is able to connect via wireless as well. And perhaps just this becomes a regular USB-C cable where you can swap between to charge and also connect via wire to just kind of remove any latency or interference for the wireless connection. So yeah, a couple of things that I noticed that could be improved in the later iterations, but here is a sort of the first showcase and impression of this 3D connection keyboard. And I thought it would be quite useful to set up something like this, where you have the mouse, keyboard, and also space mouse to model your thing, navigate through easily, change things and showcase this useful. Then please use the link in the description and and I'll also leave the link for the Motion Media as I have mentioned. They are the people for the AEC hardware and software and they will be able to give you a discount for purchasing Revit and AEC collection for both annual and three year licenses. So please be sure to check them out as well. You can use the code JKIM, JKIM and all of those details will be available in the description as well. So if you have liked this content, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.